Today, I'm actually leaving the farm. I'm going to a place that no one ever really goes. I'm going deep into the jungle to where the Nobe tribe of Panama lives. I love spontaneous adventures like this, but we got an opportunity to do something that I'm super excited to share with you guys. And I'm gonna leave Sadie and Kaylee behind for this one because not only is it an incredibly long drive, but I'm expecting it to be pretty dangerous. All right, I got my two guys with me. I got Enrique and I got Iberto with me. Anytime I go to the Comarca, I bring these guys with me because I'm a foreigner, I'm an outsider, and I can really only get in if I have these guys with me, and they're just gonna help make all this possible. Listo, chicos! We're just stopping quickly to fill up on gas. Cause I don't know how far we're gonna have to go. But part of the problem is we can't figure out where we're going on GPS if you guys look. This is where we are right here. And where we're going is way off into the jungle. You see where it says Kanki Tu? Right there? We're going there. If you plug that into GPS and look for directions, it only gives you walking directions. It says you cannot get there by car. But I guess these guys know a way. So we'll see how we do. This is where it's about to start getting interesting. We've been driving for about an hour and a half. Going to add it. What is mass, bro? That means it's going to be four hours. Just watch. You know when you see a sign like that, you're in for an adventure. We're just taking a quick little bathroom break here, but we are driving deep into the Camarca right now. We've been going. It's 12.30 and we left at 8.30. So we've been going for four hours so far and we still got a little bit of a ways to go. But if you're wondering where we're going, we made connection with a coffee farmer in the Comarca that I've never met before. And we're always trying to support the people of the Nobe tribe as much as possible by buying their coffee, paying as good of a price as we possibly can. But the biggest problem is it's so hard to communicate. We're going to meet up with a guy today named Lucho and how we've communicated with him so far is Enrique would have to travel here by bus and basically like communicate with him the things that we want to say. He would communicate with Enrique and come back and we have to do that because they don't have any electricity here. They don't have any electricity, they don't have any internet, they don't have any cell phone service. They are just deep in the jungle. We're trying to go there today to fix that and I'm so excited for this because I think this is actually one of those days that could actually make an impact. All right, so we just pulled in, and I just wanna say a couple things before we go in here. Number one, um, my intention of making this video isn't to try and provoke a reaction out of this family and exploit them for a good video. I'm like super sensitive to that, because I think while helping someone get electricity for the first time is a big deal, um, the last thing that I wanna do is exploit these people. Like my sole intention here is to help. So I'm gonna go in and meet the family first and ask them if it's okay to film and talk to them a little bit and try and just do this as respectfully as possible. Also something to know about the Nobe tribe is they are people of very few words. Um, Spanish isn't their first language, it's their second language. Their first language is called <coughs> Nobe and Spanish is my second language too. So the communication's gonna be really tough. And what I've seen from the Nobe people is they are very reserved and people have very few words and very little emotion. Um, so my, like I said, my goal is not to try to provoke some emotion for a video. That to me just, that, that just isn't who I am. Entrado or oh no? Espere. Enrique's going to talk to the guy. We're in a little community here in Conquitu. And uh, there's just all these little houses around here, a little community center here. Everywhere you look, there's little kids picking their heads out the window. I don't know if you can see this kid right behind me here. It's like when someone pulls into town, it's like everyone's looking at what's going on. If you look around here, you'll see no electric lines, no water lines, no internet lines, no TV lines. Lucho Abrego. Lucho. ¿Qué es ¿Qué es el nombre? Su familia? Esa es mi señora. ¿Cómo se llama? Yariela. Lucha y Ariana. Ari, Yariela. Yariela. Yo trabajo con este marca. Mm -hmm. Este, la marca es Anchor. Este es típico para un sistema, este es un sistema de electricidad. Este ayuda ustedes con conectar sus celulares para, para usar luz. Este tiene mucha electricidad. Y yo entiendo usted tiene problemas con comunicar con personas sí, sí, para sí. vender su café. Acá no hay señal, ¿no? Sí, ¿cuánto, ¿Cuánto horas necesitas salir para...? Allá, allá en el cero, allá arriba. 
allá. Sí, sí, allá, donde que se ve montaña allá arriba. Sí, Besitos, sí, you're allowed sí, to sí. de esta montaña. Sí, sí, para agarrar señales. Para este riso. Sí. sí. Ok. Uh, ¿Tengo una solución para ustedes? Ojo. Oh. Tiene que llevarla entre dos. Here we go. We're going up to their house right now to connect everything. Got it, chicos. ¿Así su casa acá? ¿Su construir así? Sí, acá. Muy bonita, ¿eh? This is their solar system here right now to charge our phone. And a solar flashlight too. We just got here to Lucho's house. This is his house right here. And we're going to get the system all set up. We're going to connect him up with a solar panel, a generator, Starlink so we can have internet, and we have a whole electrical system from Anchor. We have the Anchor Solix F3800 Plus, and we're gonna be connecting all that up right now. Wow, look at all this. And this is some of their coffee right here drying out in the sun. This is how they do it here. They hand pick it all, put it out to dry just like this. This is called the natural process. And why I want to work with these guys is they're trying to build a coffee business, but they can't communicate with anyone. They don't have any way to talk to anyone they want to sell their coffee to. And they have to climb all the way up to the top of that mountain to get a little bit of service. So I'm hoping that with all of this, it can help them run a better business and build like a real coffee business with real customers that they can talk with. We have a 400 watt solar panel that we just hooked up to the system. Anchor gave us this Solix F3800 Plus and we wanted to give it to these guys because I feel as a fellow entrepreneur trying to build a business how hard it is. By being able to put out a ton of electricity, this thing can put out 6,000 watts, um, by being able to bring in a whole solar system and not only that but connect it to a generator, be able to recharge the whole system in just a few hours, that's a game changer. And I feel like that's something that can help out so much. By plugging the F3800 Plus into a generator, it can recharge so fast. Look, it's getting 3,500 watts an hour right now. Right now I'm getting everything set up for him on the Solix app. So there's a bunch of different inputs. You have the generator input to recharge it via generator. You have an AC input, which we're not gonna use because you use this to recharge this unit from your house. But we do have a DC input because we need to connect the solar panel. Okay. What is that, huh? We're getting everything set up in their side room here. We just plugged in the solar panel now. I want to show you guys the ladder that they that they have here. This is how they get up on the roof. Just a couple of sticks that they tied to a couple pieces of wood, and that's what they're using to climb up there. These guys are climbing up on the roof now to install the solar panel. And the great thing is the anchor knows how to prioritize that electricity. So if your battery is low, it's going to be recharging your battery. But if you're pulling a charge, it's going to use your solar first. And that's a way to save money. It's really common for this anchor system to be used as a home power backup. So if the power in your house goes down, the system can basically like switch over and run your whole house. So for these guys, they're gonna basically just use it to run their whole house. The F3800 can run refrigerators, washing machines. It can most likely run all the appliances in your house at the same time because it can put out 6,000 watts or you can put two of these systems together and it can put out 12,000 watts. So then it can definitely run everything in your house. And even with just that one solar panel, they can run the internet, they can have lights, they can charge all their cell phones and communicate with people and Lucho can work with coffee buyers to sell his coffee and run his business. We took the money that Anchor gave us for the sponsored video and put it towards buying these guys Starlink and paying for internet for them, unlimited internet for them and this whole community here for a whole year. So just a huge thank you to Anchor for allowing for all this to be possible and for everything that we can do for this community here. We also got him a generator to help recharge the F3800 for when it's raining and a 300 watt solar panel. And the thing is this system could take an additional 10 of these solar panels. So these guys can keep upgrading their solar system. Okay, we're done here. The system is installed. These guys have the same amount of electricity as many of you guys have in your house. I'm so stoked for them and for all the people here that they can now charge their phones, their laptops, do work that they need, go to school online, whatever they need to do. The house where the electricity and the Starlink installed is right there. And from right here, we're getting 40 megabytes of download. And when I asked Lucho if he wanted to put a password on the Starlink, he said, no, I want to let the whole town use it. I want everyone to be able to connect to the internet. And now they're going to. It's almost like the perfect spot, like his house is way up on the hill and the internet gets all through the town. I'm just so stoked for this. All right, you guys, mission accomplished. We are heading out of here. I just want to say thank you to Anchor for letting me do this. Doing this just means so much to me. And then this is one of those things that I think could make a real impact. Like there's a town here now that has 
internet. It has electricity. It has the ability to charge phones and talk to people and communicate, to get jobs, to go to school. I don't think that we know kind of where it's going to go from here. It's really up to them on how they're going to use it. But at least there's potential now for a community of people to work towards uplifting themselves even just a little bit. And that's basically all I really wanted to do. And if we didn't have this and we also didn't have Anchor, none of this would be possible. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if any of you guys out there are looking for a battery bank, check out Anchor. So if you check out the link down in the description below and grab yourself an Anchor Solix F3800 Plus, that's the unit that we gave to these guys, you will get a free 400 watt solar panel for your Solix unit totally for free. So thank you so much, Anchor. Check them out down in the description below. We love you guys and we're heading back home now.